Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on controller specs and understand how it works. Now in this lecture, we will move one more step ahead in learning controller specs. And here we will discuss about the hooks that we can use within any spec. First, we will add few more examples to our user controller spec. Here you can see in the file that we have an example where we are expecting newly created user is to assign in users collection. We can add few more conditions to pass from the same example itself like expecting the template to be rendered and the HTTP status code when request come on to index section of this users controller. So now we have two choices. First we can expect the multiple condition to be passed within the same existing it block or we can create a separate it block for each condition to get passed. First let's try with the simplest and time saving approach by expecting multiple conditions in the same example group. So we need to add a couple of expect statements into our it assign users block. So here what we can do expect and then we can add expect like response dot to and then render template that is index to render template and that is index okay it this lines means that whenever your request come to the users controllers index section it must render the index template of the users controller here you can see inside the users controller that we have an index section so whenever a request come to here it should render the index.html.trb so what we are displaying here expect response dot to render template index okay and as the next expect what we can do here expect and then response dot to and then we can add another method rspec method here that is have http status okay so have http status and then it must be okay it means when your request successfully come to the uh, users controllers index section and if it is rendered successfully then your request must have your response must have the http status okay that is 200 okay and now save the file and switch to the terminal and we need to run the spec so just switch to the terminal here and here what you need to do r spec and then spec controllers user controller spec.rb and when you run this spec you will see the specs will get passed so here you can see one example zero failure okay but what we did here we expect all measures to be passed within the same example or within the same it block but this is not supposed to do why because since we are expecting three different measures to be passed so better if unless it is necessary just try to write a separate it block to expect or to pass every measure or every condition or every test in your spec so what we can do here we can uh, remove the newly expect statement that we added into the assign user it block that is expect response to render template and expect response to have http status into a separate it block so what we can do here it renders the index template it renders the index template okay then do and now implement this it block okay here what we need to do here first we need to copy both this line why because whenever we come to the index section of the users controller first we need to make sure that user must be sign in and we need to re re redirect our request onto the index section of the users controller and then we can add this expect statement here so cut this from here and here what we can do just expect response to render template index okay and now similarly we can add another it block that will take for the http status so it returns that it returns the status code okay and just to make the do and what you can do here just to copy the sign in user and get index line because we need this for this example as well and now just to cut this uh, response to have http status line from the first it block and paste it here okay and just paste it save this 
and now just switch to the terminal again and run your users controller spec again so this time it should return all three specs to access okay so here you can see three examples zero failures that means all of our specs get passed and this is much better way to write your specs unless it is necessary always try to write separate example cases okay so till this point we practiced two more measures for the controller respects but if you can see in the examples we are repeating the code for rendering the index section and the signing in user here you can see that sign in user get index we are using both of the lines for all it blocks okay and all it blocks are within the same example group that is the describe get index and both the lines serve the same purpose in all examples so we must avoid this by writing both lines at a single place for this example group and make it available for all the required examples so how to do this so to do this we can use the r spec hooks for this purpose r spec provides the after and before hooks but we only need the before hook here because we want both get index and sign in user to be available before each it block get executed okay so we can use before each hook here so let's do that now you need to remove the lines that is uh, sign in user and get index from all of your each it blocks so first uh, remove these lines from all its blocks and here after the let what you need to do just define a before each block or if before each hook before each then do and now into this before each hook you just need to write sign in user and get index you just need to make sure to define this before hook outside all it blocks and within the describe example group that containing the respective it blocks okay and save the file now and run the specs again you will see the specs are getting passed again so save the file switch to the terminal and run your specs again and here you can again see that three examples zero failures okay that means our hooks get work and now you can see that we are not repeating this common piece of code within this example group and now our specs looks more optimized and more more dry and that's it so here we learn two more r specs mature for testing the flow and we also learn how to use before hooks to refactor our example groups or refactor our it blocks however i explained this with a very basic example but i'm sure if you practice more you will get more comfortable in writing controller specs in much better and optimized way here you just need to make sure that do not use the let within the before hook i will explain the reason in some another lecture and that's all about this lecture try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe